Hello everyone. Welcome to the new episode of Tech Facts and I'll be presenting some very interesting tech news. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon as whenever I post a video, you get a notification without fail. So, let's start. Rumors about the next OnePlus Nord smartphone has been swirling for a while now. The N10 5G being routed to launch soon with a sub $400 price tag. Well known to Ipster once again look to Twitter to confirm the upcoming phone through a cryptic image of the device. It features a curved back with OnePlus 8T resembling the camera cut out at the top right corner. According to past rumors the phone will debut on the Snapdragon 690 chipset along 6GB RAM and 120GB of storage. We are also expecting a 6.49 inch AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate and FHD plus resolution. The camera should come in at 64MP for primary shooter alongside 8MP ultra wide lens and 2 2MP sensors for macro and the app data. The battery capacity remains unknown through the listing confirmed we should expect 18W while charging. With the OnePlus NT launch behind us we expect the Nord 10 FF 5G to be the next device on the OnePlus's teaser later. So are you excited for the OnePlus Nord N10? Tell me in the comment section below. Netflix's user growth has been slowing down recently and the company is now looking for ways to make more people interested in subscribing. As a part of ready set to offering free access to users in India for a weekend. This should somehow help expand it reached in the country according to the top company executive. Netflix recently stopped offering a free one month trial to those interested in subscribing to its online streaming service so this free weekend in India test would at least be in part to aim to make up for that. It's unclear exactly which weekend we are talking about here as it seems Netflix isn't have decided yet. So now next let's see which, which is the next weekend where Netflix will offer its premium services free to Indian users. Redmi's general manager posted a tease on Weibo and president of Xiaomi mobile division responded to the post this increased activity is building up to the unveiling of the Redmi K30s. Which will happen on October 27 according to one leak stuff which adds that the phone will go on sale on November 1. Here are some, here are some rumors regarding the specifications of the K30s which will be lower, lower than the 1000 and 1000 plus powered Redmi K30 Ultra. The K30s will use a Snapdragon 865 chipset instead. In fact, the China mobile slip up revealed the phone is a rebranded Mi 10T. If the K30s is really going to be cheaper than that and it will be a shield. For comparison, the other S865 powered model of the family, the K30 Pro is 380 euros while the same Redmi K30 Ultra will be nearly 255 euros. Back in September, Oppo first unveiled the A33 in Indonesia as a lower end sibling of the A53. While the A53 has been official in India for a while, it's only today that the A33 has joined it in the spotlight of the subcontinent. The Oppo A33 is definitely an entry level model with Snapdragon 460 chipset, 3GB RAM, and 32GB of expandable storage. Specifically, in its case, it's a 6.5 inch 720 into 160090 Hz LCD panel. The A33 has a 5000mAh battery with 18W charging, a rare mount of fingerprints, and a 13MP main camera added by the 2MP depth sensor, 2MP micro cam, and an 8MP selfie snapper sitting pretty in the left aligned screen punch hole. It will become available in India this month in Moonlight Black and Mint Cream for 11,990 rupees, which is approximately $162 at the current exchange rates. So, are you all interested in the Oppo A33? Tell me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.